for Manchester United. We had great goals, we had incidents, we had send, sending off, we had everything you could want except from a United point of view for the points that they needed to get to the last 16. They're going to have to go to Leipzig next week and get that point now. So much to talk about in that match, so it might seem a bit unfair to reduce it to one incident, but how much criticism is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer going to get for not taking Fred off the field before he was sent off? Absolutely loads and deserved, because at the very least, he must have addressed it at half-time. He must have said, OK, can I trust you? You know, if, if, he, has, if he just let it go and hasn't, and hasn't brought it up at half-time, then that's a, that's a disaster for him. The world and his mother knew it was all wrong and that he was on a tightrope and the best thing to do was get him off. Um, I, I, I think about it, and I, I go back to times, you know, in the dressing room and the manager, you know, they'd look in the eyes and go, are you going to let me down out there? And if he's done that, and he has, he's wrong to even trust him. He should have whipped him off. He should have a number two who pulls him to one side and said, look what will happen if this fella gets him sent off to you. You're going to be in for it. And that's exactly what's happened. And, mm -hmm. and he, he's, he's, he's young. We all like him. We're, we're, we hope it goes well for him. But well, that's a big boo-boo tonight. Um, you don't want to reduce it to just that. Well, they were decision be, they, they were because be, they had they so behind, many chances. But they were behind when he did get put off, Sammy. But they, they had so many chances themselves before that United, didn't they? Yeah, you know, they, they, have, it, they should have been ahead. They had clear cut chances, particularly the big incident with Cavani and, and, and Marshall. It was they were they were un unlucky that the ball hit the bar, but Marshall should have scored. It was great defending to stop them. But they had gone behind before. But it's, it, put what on. I'm saying is it affected their chances of, of getting back. Of course it did. Of course, I mean it was a bad decision. I presumed at half time he would take him off. Very surprised. He got eight yellow cards in the league last year. It's not too bad. I think he's on three already this season. Mm. Hasn't been red card since he played for Shakhtar Donetsk. So he's not, you know, um, a weekly bold boy, but he was on the edge the whole can, night Can you tonight. go to Devil's Advocate and say what what Oli Gunnar Solskjaer might have been thinking there? I, I don't on? know. He, he isn't that good of a player that he's miles better than Matic mm. if you want a defensive midfield player. He, Matic doesn't move the ball on as quickly as maybe Fred. I mean, Fred is not a brilliant kind of... Um, linky sort of a linker up player he's not a, a brilliant tackler he's a tidy midfield player that's energetic and gets around the pitch well but in the circumstances yeah. I would have thought why do Matic why, why bother yeah. you, you, you're getting a big physical player on that would be fresh and, uh, and that goal by Neymar just saw him there a moment ago by the way means that PSG are ahead of United on the head to head I know you saw the table there at the moment it looks like United are still top they don't apply that until the end can we just say by the way lads what a brilliant night's nice Champions League football that makes you yeah. ache to have the crowds back in in a full stadium for a night like that. Yeah, and I'm sure Man United might have done a bit better had they a huge crowd behind them, a 12th man effect, which they, which they didn't have. Um, both games, absolutely stunning matches, full, full of drama, full of high skill, the, the level of light, likes we don't see week in, week out uh, domestically. It was just, just incredible drama, adrenaline. Um, United missing the chances, you know, uh, that they did. Uh, Martial putting the one over the bar, Cavani hitting a beautiful lob to hit the crossbar. You think, oh, it's a great night for United, it's going to be mm -hmm. great for the manager. But then it came back to haunt him that he didn't deal with the Fred situation at half time. Uh, I still say you, you pay your number two for one or two decisions a year to come in and take you by the scruff of the neck and say you've got to get him off. And nobody must have said that to him. They've trusted a, a player tonight. And, and it's not, you know, I, I, Brian made a good point there that he's, he's not that bad and he, you know, he doesn't have a bad record uh, usually but that's not the point it's, what, it's how wrong it looks by not making the right decision and getting him off and putting another player on and I think once, once it happened you know, the, game was, the game was over obviously and uh, it's just a real blow in confidence for the manager <laughs> and then obviously from the team underneath him. But as you so rightly said Brian they were 2-1 down at that point like it wasn't the whole losing of the game for them and you know, if you'd imagined the emotional swing if there had been a crowd at Old Trafford United on top Loads of chances, and then Marquinhos' goal changes the whole vibe of the game. Yeah, but he should... He, look, he shouldn't have been on the pitch, Fred. You don't know how the game may have went. I mean, the, the, the Herrera, former Manchester United player as well, got the shot. It was so, so close. Diallo gets it back across the goal. Here's the Herrera, come on and sub. Diallo, don't, he was just trying to keep the ball in the game, in the play. You see here, look, he can't flick it on the goal. He just flicks it across, and Marquinhos, the centre-half... 
does really well to react, gets the toe poke in. It's a very fine line. I called it here in the studio. I said he might be offside, and that's as close as it can be. But they made the decision very quick, Tom. I, I, I have to say that, Tommy, time, yeah. in comparison to what we get at the weekend when we're watching Premier League games, we were discussing that between us earlier on, how quickly the decision was made. It looks to me like there's two blue lines of slightly different shades there. <laughs> I don't know what the decision is based on other than some interpretation that says, well, he was level but and it's OK. Do you think it's, it's okay. a good thing that we don't see somebody drawing lines yeah. in the Champions League? They, they make the decision, they make it yeah. quickly, as you say, and there's not this protracted process of lines being drawn and they show us the evidence which they say it's yeah. done and we've moved on. I think so, Tommy. I think the, the English Premier League game, as we're seeing at the moment, there are too many interruptions and there's too many hesitations. And every goal that's scored, you're almost waiting on them to microscopically find a way not to give the goal and to find an offside in, in, in some error, some way. And I, I, I don't think people are enjoying it. I think if crowds were in the mm. ground, there'd be a, a, a serious uproar at the moment. That they anyway, that doesn't affect this. It didn't affect the game tonight. This was a very, very serious incident, but there was no... The only other real VAR incident in the match was, was the red card, and the referee got it wrong, despite the fact he had the advantage yeah. of VAR. In my view, he went to the... There we see it. What do you think the referee's thinking here, Niall? You know, violent conduct is, is the charge that he would be looking at. He, Does the judge is not violent he, enough? He, he's given him a kind of benefit of doubt that it wasn't a sort of a drawn back head and, and what we'd call a, a rings end uppercut here in, in, in yeah. some parts of the, of the city. Um, he kind of sticks his head in and then pushes it in with, with, with weight, but that's still enough for a red card. Then gets away with that one just before half time. Yes, he did. You know, it was a, a poor challenge on Herades. Uh, Herades does really well, keeps his foot down. This is, this is the actual, the third or the second red card, the third incident that he's got himself involved in. And when, when his touch actually causes it, bad touch to let it go too far ahead. He can, they can have no complaints. I mean, Solskjaer's on the, on the touch and saying, have a look, have a look. But the rule states they can't look unless it's only a straight red offence that mm. they're looking at, not a second yellow. And so they couldn't look at it um, from, from that point of view. Uh, but why he's on the pitch at that point, you know, he, he can argue with fourth officials, he can, he can look at his staff all his want, but somebody should have got him. But from next, he, he, didn't need, he didn't need a number two to he, tell him a half time. Yeah. You're sitting there. Judgment, uh, uh, reason, reason be experienced as he is, you know when a fella is playing on the edge, you know the importance of the match, you cannot risk it. It's not like it's only you're only allowed one substitution and it's too early in the game, half time. He's all the substitutions he can make still. He should have taken them off. He's it's got to have thought about it though. He must mm. have thought about it. it must, yeah. The incident must have come up at half time and he must have asked him, Are you okay? Are you going to let me down? If he hasn't approached it and he's just breezed through the half time and carried on, we're doing well. Uh, then, then I, I, you know, we, we'll never know. We won't know the full truth. But I, I've seen number twos that don't say a word for weeks on end, and there are times when you say, "Hey, boss, this is going to look so bad for you if you don't, if you don't." Just take up. a step back, right. think here. It, it, right. It's going to go down as a bad judgment call, isn't it? It sure is. I yeah. mean, Niall said something before the match, things have gone quite well lately and it's all settled down. I didn't feel that before the match of the weekend against Southampton. I thought if they lost against Southampton at the weekend, that he'd be back game. under a bit of pressure again. But the way they won the match made things appear like everything's not bad here at all, we're going quite well. And uh, But I think tonight will again bring out the question marks as to his, his, yeah. to his management, his overall management, not just his decision-making recruitment, tactics, but decision-making, that's a big decision. That's, and it's not a... You don't need to do a pro licence to be getting ones like that right. Uh, for Brian, sure. That that's enough? not about tactics. It's just about common, common sense. sense. Yeah. I wonder, will the, will the name our goal have, have an impact in the long run? We don't know. We'll have to see what happens last week. But it means the head-to-head -head now that PSG have um, a better record. So if the two teams were to finish level... but. Um, it, United lose it in, in, on, on the attack and it was kind of that stage of the game where this was likely to happen. Uh, yeah, but you know, Neymar turned up tonight as, as, as a real Neymar footballer. He didn't go looking and try and play the referee all night like he did last week. The skill there to be doing this in the last minute of the game, to wriggle out of the position he was in there, pinch the ball off Fernandes, great skill to get past three of them, keep going in and uh, takes his time, waits and checks back here, knows here, I'll check back here, this is the space for it. It's just brilliant. You know, this, this is the Neymar, I mean, we don't see often enough. Yeah, it was uh, a good name out tonight, uh, wasn't it? Wasn't it just, I mean, I was really, really uh, critical of him last week. I didn't like the way he play-acted the whole game mm. against Leipzig, but tonight he was a joy to watch. They need to get a point in Leipzig, Brian. Can they get it? 
they can get a point, but he's wrong in saying that, that we're just beaten by scrappy goals. So we're beaten by 3-1. There was three goals, you can see. The, fir the first two goals, where the, 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 there was a deflection in them, but mm. the build-up play to the goals and the three yeah. goals was outstanding. Th that their own goal wasn't too smart. <laughs> that was a huge yeah. deflection. Yeah, yeah, indeed.